Okay, I need to tell everyone something. Here's the short version. My favorite movie ever and my favorite show ever have been connected into one single cinematic universe. Here's the long version. Elmore Leonard was an obscenely prolific crime writer who wrote roughly one billion novels and short stories from the 50s until his death in 2013. One of Leonard's novels was 1990's Out of Sight. It was about a bank robber named Jack Foley who falls for Karen Sisko, the U.S. Marshal who was assigned to catch him and bring him back to jail. One thing about Elmore Leonard was that he liked to reuse characters, so in the second half of Out of Sight, Leonard gives a cameo to Detective Raymond Cruz, who was the main character of his previous novel, City Primeval. In 1998, Out of Sight was adapted into a film directed by Steven Soderbergh and starring George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez. In the film, Detective Raymond Cruz appears for one scene. He is played by character actor Paul Calderon, who is a very good actor, and had supporting roles in some of the best crime films of the 90s. That's not relevant, I just wanted to tell you. In 2010, one of Leonard Short's stories, Fire in the Hole, was adapted into the FX series Justified, starring Timothy Oliphant as U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens. Justified ran for six seasons, and I really liked all of them. Does that matter? No. But do you know who else liked it? Quentin Tarantino. I know because of this interview, where he said the only shows he watches are Justified and How I Met Your Mother? What? And because after Justified premiered, a bunch of the cast members started to show up in his movies, like Walton Goggins, Damon Harriman, and even U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens himself, Timothy Oliphant. But we'll come back to that. Yes, Tarantino sure loved Elmore Leonard, which many of us already knew, because he adapted one of Leonard's novels, Rum Punch, into his third movie, Jackie Brown. And not only that, but Tarantino was also an early pioneer of the Leonard cinematic universe. Okay, one of the main characters of Rum Punch is a seedy government agent named Ray Nicolette, played in the film by Michael Keaton. But Leonard, always a fan of using crossover characters, also included Nicolette as a minor character in his novel Out of Sight. So when Steven Soderbergh was making Out of Sight, he called Tarantino and they lobbied the studios to allow Keaton to play Nicolette in both films. So in Out of Sight, Michael Keaton has one scene as Ray Nicolette and he connects the two movies in a shared universe. So Tarantino had already helped link two classic Elmore Leonard adaptations, but he wasn't done being a Leonard fan. As I mentioned, he cast Timothy Oliphant in his 2019 film Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, four years after Justified had ended. And Oliphant says that Tarantino approached him on the set with one of Leonard's novels and told him that it would make a great season of Justified. Oliphant contacted some of the producers, they pitched it to FX, and a revival series was greenlit, titled Justified City Primeval. But as you may remember, U.S. Marshal Raylan Givens is not the main character of the novel City Primeval. The main character of City Primeval is Detective Raymond Cruz. So on the show Justified City Primeval, which is airing right now, they swapped Raylan out as the main character, but they still included Raymond Cruz in a cameo. And in that cameo, he is played by character actor Paul Calderon, the same actor who played Raymond Cruz in Out of Sight. Meaning that Justified has now joined the Out of Sight, Jackie Brown, Elmore Leonard universe. Is that universe fully consistent? No. Samuel Jackson appears in both Jackie Brown and Out of Sight as two different characters, and there are also two different U.S. Marshal Karen Siscos running around. The first is the one played by Jennifer Lopez in Out of Sight, and the second is the one played by Carl Gugino in the second episode of the third season of Justified, which in itself connects Justified to Gugino's short-lived Karen Sisko TV series from the early 2000s, which featured Robert Forster, who played a different character in Jackie Brown. But wait, FX didn't have the rights to use the Karen Sisko character, so Gugino's character on Justified is named Karen Goodall and is only heavily implied to be Karen Sisko. Assistant Director Goodall. <sighs> Good all. So we are going to ignore that implication to ensure that all of this continues to run smoothly. Anyway, the news of this universe expanding is the kind of thing that is not a big deal to anyone except me, for which it is a huge deal. I didn't see a single article talking about this, which is why I had to tell all of you. Thank you for watching, and don't spoil the new Justified episode. I'm saving it to watch with my dad.